Hey everybody, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome, welcome, welcome. Whew. Here we are on day 13 of our 40 days of sacred clearing for women over 40, making space for all things new. And my name is Allison Rozelle, also known as Coach Roz, and today's message is going to be short and sweet. And it's going to be short and sweet. Because Coach Roz is feeling under the weather. My sinuses have been kicking my butt all day long. And yeah, I just am about to crawl into my bed um, and get myself a little relief because <laughs> I am just not feeling well. It's the change of the weather. It's the change in the weather. Um, whenever the weather changes and then ragweed starts to come out. It gets me. So, it's all good. I'm here. You're here. We're good. Yay. Okay, so, <clears throat> my message tonight, I actually didn't really have one, or I thought I didn't. So, what I did was I consulted with Higher Power, and I pulled out my cards, um, and I don't have the deck handy and I'm not going to get up. Um, <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> but hey, that's the benefit of being Coach Roz and being able to do this job that I love, this this wonderful thing that I love doing. Um, but these are card deck that I've pulled from before if, you're, if you've been following me for a while. It's the um, One Manifesting fertility goddess cards so I was like okay I need a message give me a message that I need to tell my divine divas what do they really need to focus on so here is your message I'm going to show you this and I'll take a picture of it and post it as well and I hope I'm not mispronouncing um, this goddess's name but this is goddess Inanna she is the goddess of strength. She is a Sumerian go goddess. <laughs> and her message is simple. It's a nurturing card. And it is, I am a fierce mama warrior. Yes, you are. So I was really excited when I pulled that because so many times as women, we have the tendency to focus on everything that's wrong with us. We focus on our weaknesses. We focus on, you know, what we what we can't do or what we shoulda, coulda, woulda done or anything like that. We spend a lot of times beating ourselves up. Well, today's challenge, I don't want you to beat yourself up. Today, I want you to focus on your strength because you are a fierce mama warrior. Hello, Tam, and hello, Rosalind. Thanks for joining you are a fierce mama warrior. You are. And I want you to focus high tab on your strengths tonight. We spend so much time picking ourselves apart of what we what we look like, what we used to look like, what we, you know, we got a few more gray hairs or, you know, we're not, um, you know, we got up and, oh my God, now this is hurting. <laughs> Hey, my loves. So we have all this time that we spend so much time focusing in on those things that are wrong. Well, tonight, I want you to focus on your strengths. That's right. Because I want you to nurture yourself. And I want you to think of the beautiful, positive, wonderful things about you. And what is more clearing than to clear out the negative energy and to welcome in the beautiful energy of acknowledgement and knowing who you are. And who you are is a fierce mama warrior. You are a strong woman. You have, you have strength. And when I say, when it says mama warrior, it doesn't necessarily mean mama. It just says that you are a woman who is a warrior and we all have that nurturing mama within us. Hi, Rosalind. 
Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you are a fierce warrior. You are. So I want that to be your assignment tonight. I want you to focus on your strengths. Stop picking apart the stuff that you think is wrong with you. Stop sitting in and, you know, worrying about what you should have, could have, would have done and all that other stuff. It's not important right now. It's not. What's important is you recognize the fact that you are a whole person, that you are strong, that you are beautiful, that you are fierce, and that you got this. So, the concentration of or energy center is the throat chakra. And the throat chakra, basically we're finding our voice. We're acknowledging our strength and we're finding our voice. We are using our voice to speak our truth, to speak of who we are, and to be who we really are. And that's what I want you to do. So that is your assignment. I want you to sit down and journal tonight about your strengths. And I know, I know, I know. It's just like at those job interviews where they tell you, well, what are your, well, they ask you, what are your strengths? Isn't that the hardest question to answer? Sometimes it's like, I don't really know. But you do know. You just don't want to talk about it. you rather focus on what's wrong with you. But we're not going to do that. So tonight, get your journal out, sit down, and I want you to write out your strengths. And nurture yourself by honoring that strong mama warrior inside of you. Because she's there. She just needs to be acknowledged and loved on. Okay? Alright, that's all I got. I want you to share this video on your timeline because somewhere there is a woman who needs to know this information about herself. Yes, Tabitha, we do know our strengths. <laughs> so yes, um, share this message on your timeline. Drop me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've been enjoying these 40 days uh, so far because we're at day 13. I do want to tell you if you've been missing any part of it, no frets. I've already created a play, play, playlist on Facebook with all the videos on it. And I'm about to upload them to, to my YouTube channel so that they'll all be there as well. So if you missed any of them, go through and check them out and let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about what we're talking about. And if there's anything else you'd like to talk about, I want to know that, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I love you, love you, love you. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.